problem five. I included this problem because it might be one of those problems that's so simple it actually ends up being confusing. I think in this problem we see right off the bat that the second column is twice the first and the third column is three times the first and also the right hand side is ten times the first column. So all of the relationships among the columns are evident to begin with. So we're in a situation where we don't even have to do Gaussian elimination. But let's go ahead with Gaussian elimination anyway just to see what happens. The first step in Gaussian elimination would be of course to subtract 2 of row 1 from row 2. And that would eliminate all of row 2. And on the right hand side as well would produce 0. The next step in Gaussian elimination is to subtract 3 of row 1 from row 3. And that of course will eliminate all of row 3. And likewise on the right hand side. So now we're actually done with Gaussian elimination. We have a single pivot and actually a single pivot column. Columns 2 and 3 are not pivot columns because they're all linearly dependent on the first column being their multiple. So all of the relationships among the columns were relatively easy to see in the original system but have now become abundantly obvious. So we can now very easily establish the general solution. So to get the right hand side we need to take 10 of row 1, none of row 2, and none of row 3. And the null space is two-dimensional. The first element being 2, negative 1, 0, acknowledging the fact that the second column is twice the first. And the second element is 3, 0, negative 1, acknowledging the fact that the third column is 3 times the first column. So we're done with Gauss elimination, and in fact, we're done with this problem.